It's the King Kelsey bringing you all natural love all the time. I was recently requested to do a twist out tutorial, so here it is. Here are some of the products that I'll be using. Um, this is the Coconut Co-Wash by As I Am Naturally. This is the Kamaza Care Shea Butter Hair Lotion. And this is just a small sample, so it's not a big bottle. This is the Kamaza Care Aloe My Hair Moisturizing Spray. And the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Pudding, which is my styler. For my sealants, I'll be using regular cold pressed castor oil. Unfortunately, because I ran out of Jamaican black castor oil. Olive oil, extra virgin from Trader Joe's. And 100% organic virgin coconut oil from Trader Joe's. As you can see, I'm working with seven day hair, which means it's been seven days since my last wash. And my curl definition is actually really good. I just woken up from a Sunday nap after church, so as you can see, my hair is all over the place. But here you can see that my hair has great curl definition still after seven days. So I've just rinsed my hair and I've generously put in the As I Am Naturally Cleansing Co-Wash, which is a cleansing conditioner, which helps your hair to be clean but not be stripped of moisture. So I'm now beginning to separate the hair in sections that I'll be using for styling, which also makes it easier for finger detangling. I am going to be using my fingers to detangle my hair at the present moment, just because fingers are more gentle than combs and brushes and stuff like that so um, I'm being really gentle with my hair um, detangling from the ends of my hair all the way to the roots and then if I catch a knot or something that's um, stuck I just lightly run my fingers through it especially because it, when it's wet it's much easier to detangle and now that I've done that I'll be going through it much finer with the comb all the way from my ends of my hair all the way to the roots when detangling, you never want to yank at your hair. Always grab your hair firmly and detangle softly from the ends of your hair all the way to the root. This will eliminate any unnecessary shedding or pain that you might cause yourself. As a naturalist, you always want to be patient when doing your hair. It may look like I'm pulling harder than I actually am, but I'm actually being very, very gentle with my hair. Over time, you see the better result. So while the co-wash is in, I separate my hair in 12 different sections, make sure I finger detangle, and then finish with the comb detangling, and then I twist that section up so that I know that that section is finished. To hold your hair on the side, you can definitely use clips. I'm just not using them at the present time. When twisting the hair, make sure to detangle it as you twist by putting your fingers through each section and pulling down to make sure that there are no tangles. Then just wrap the ends around your finger. Here, I have just rinsed out the co-wash conditioner with a little colder than lukewarm water to close the cuticles up which adds extra shine. Here I'm taking a empty little jar that you can get at Sally's for like a dollar and some change and adding the regular castor oil, which is cold pressed, the extra virgin olive oil and the coconut oil. And sometimes because of temperatures, the coconut oil will solidify, so you may have to break that down and then mix it all together and shake it up well. As you can see, I've already done the back of my hair and I'm preparing to do the sides and the front. Um, right now I'm taking out the twist and I keep it in these twists so that the moisture stays in and my hair doesn't dry out before I can get the products in there. So now I'm spraying the Aloe My Hair Moisturizing Spray in and I'm really working that through my hair. It gives my hair great slip and it keeps my hair moisturized, especially under the hair lotion. Now that step is optional. You do not have to use the Aloe My Hair Moisturizing Spray before you use 
any kind of lotion or conditioner. It's just something that I like to do because I really, really like the results of the product. Now I'm putting a little bit of the Shea Butter Hair Lotion in and really working that product in from the ends all the way to the roots, making sure that every strand of hair has it in there. And only because I only have a little bit of Jamaican black castor oil, I'm going to be putting that on my scalp and really massaging that to make sure that I stimulate hair growth in my follicles so that my hair remains thick, especially around my edges. I used to have very, very thin edges, especially growing out of a relaxer. So I want to make sure that my hair, on, especially on the sides, stays really, Now the Jamaican really black castor oil is optional. You do not need it to do a twist out. Next, I'll be putting the Carol's daughter hair milk pudding in my hair as a styler um this is actually the first time i'm using the kamaza care shea butter hair lotion after a fresh you know kind of wash and i want to make sure that my hair has definition this gives me a light hold without alcohol products in my hair and without that dry crunchy feeling again this step is optional you do not need a styler for your twist out you just need a moisturizer and an oil for sealant or a leave-in conditioner that's liquid and a hair butter at the moment my hair has more density at the top of my head and in the back therefore i am going to flat twist my hair on the sides for more definition Flat twists are very easy. All you do is as you twist, you add a little section of hair to one of the twists and then you keep twisting all the way down until it becomes a flat twist. You want to make sure to hold the twist tight but not too tight and to detangle as you are twisting. This prevents any possible future knotting of the hair. I use this clip to hold my flat twist at the root so that I can flat twist the other side and join the two together to make one big twist. Again, the flat twists are optional. You do not have to flat twist your hair in order to do a very good twist out. You can part in regular sections and just twist the hair exactly how I'm going to twist it at the very end. Remember, I'm only doing it on the front two sides of my head to make sure that my hair has definition because my top and my back has more density than my sides. Make sure to twist the individual strands as you make the twist and then wrap it around your finger at the very end, like so. Here, I've already placed the product in my hair, and instead of starting my twist two strand, I'm going to braid it at the root so that my roots are defined. Usually when you start a twist two strand, it becomes puffy and undefined at the root, and that's not the look that I want. Braiding at the root is optional. If you like bigger hair at the root, feel free to two strand. This I learned from another hair vlogger that I personally watch and learn from. Her name is 101 Lady T. Feel free to check her out. Now I'm taking the oil mixture that I made previously and sealing in the moisture of my hair with it. I didn't measure the mixture, I just put in more of the oil that I wanted most in my hair. No need to be heavy handed with the oil, just make sure that you disperse it evenly. Now that that's done, I'll put my satin scarf on and go to sleep and let my hair air dry for a day and then take it out on Tuesday. I normally don't like to add heat to my hair unless I'm deep conditioning, but you can if you like to. 
So I've let my hair air dry for a day and it is now Tuesday and I am about to take it down. Just as a rule of thumb, make sure to oil your fingertips lightly so that you do not cause frizz as you separate your twist. I am now beginning to further separate my hair where it naturally pulls apart. Normally, people do not like to separate a lot because it causes frizz. And sometimes it shortens the lifespan of the twist out. But the more you separate, the bigger the hair is. And I love big hair. Here, I have placed my hair into a very loose ponytail puff called a pineapple. This helps to elongate the hair while I get ready for work. Now that my hair has been stretched while I got ready, I'm going to take it down and separate my curls even further. If you like the way your twist out already looks, this step can be dismissed. Again, I love big hair, so I'm going to separate my roots with a wide tooth comb, making my hair fuller and also getting rid of any parts that may have lingered during the twist up. For maintenance, you can do one of three things. One, pull your hair up into a pineapple. Two, retwist the hair if it's already moisturized and spritz the end so that you get a nice curl. And three, refreshen your entire hair with a light moisturizer and maybe an oil and retwist the whole head. You really can't see the beautiful shine that my hair has at the moment, so I've taken some pictures and added them to the end of the video. Well, there you have it, a beautiful twist out. I hope you've enjoyed this video and got some very useful information. Feel free to like or comment and even subscribe. Well, you guys, see you soon.